Hey Cox, what's up? <laughs> We're here with our first edition <laughs> of the Kosu Get Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got, we got uh, me, Nar, and Zilly bringing you the uh, the updates of this week and last week. Uh, let's jump right in with some CSL talk. Uh, Zilly, lead us off here. Yeah, man. So CSL Chobo Star League. Uh, this is not just our team. This is the other teams too. And um, so far, well, let me just pull up the bracket real quick. I think I have it here. Yeah, we've been doing. Bop, bop. Okay, we're still in this. That's the important thing. We're well, I mean, still in this. It's not really for us, it's but it's for the the glory of our team. Well, I born goes to, Unless yeah. you happen to be Sam. Um that's who we're all rooting here for is Sam. So let's just go right over there to group B. We got Haro and Sam, the only two Protosses that are left cuz Nero has been eliminated and uh Haro has already qualified, so props to Haro and then Savage Sam who's been playing really well has to go up and beat another Zerg. I think he lost to Haro. Um because Haro went 2-0 and he played Haro first. So he's having to go up against Zergs. I know it's a tough matchup for him, and I'm not sure who he plays next. I think it's Solace, but uh, make sure to give him your energy, guys. He'll be needing that to go through and represent Born Gosu in Group Send B. your cancer to him. That's right, all that cancer. He needs it. Yeah. Wait, you said Sam's playing Solace? I'm so. not sure. I'm not uh, sure. I, I if he, he is, that's that. pretty good because he beat Solace last season in CTL yeah. in the playoffs. It's one so of those Sam has, Sam has a history of beating him already. Sam plays an interesting style too, where I feel like he he is never like too predictable. Oh, definitely, I completely agree. So, I mean, I think that definitely plays into his, his advantage. Um, that being said, uh, who else do we have? I mean, he's the only one available in the bracket here, but who else is like someone that we think is going to go far in this? I think he's Sus also he's yeah. also definitely go really far if he pulls it together. I think Sauce King, Siegfried are probably also like good good money bets if you were. Definitely. Yeah, when I do this, I pick, uh, yeah. just pick names I know, so I feel like you might have more insight on this, Narwhal. Yeah, uh, I lost to P. Sosa in the round of eight, two CSLs ago, um, and then he ended up losing to Monk in the finals, but that's Monk. Uh, but P. Sosa is really, really good. Yeah, so I mean, Sarx can... beat him though before, though, right? Who? Sarx? Uh, yeah, but that's when he was just coming back. Uh, well, Sarx okay. took, like, yeah, Tarek took the match off him, but that was like the first week of CSL, and he still was able to come through in second place. Um, okay. Uh, but no, Pisos is a very, very serious contender in this. Uh, I mean, everyone knows Eat My Diction tries really hard, but we'll see if he can actually show some results. Uh, Siegfried's definitely a sure bet. Uh, Sauce King, always a good player. And then Haro and Sam. I mean, I feel those are like the five players that really have a for sure chance in my mind. I don't yeah. see any one like standing out from the other, but those will probably be the one of those five will win it. I think. Yeah, definitely. What I about agree. Nero? Do you think it's weird that Nero got uh, eliminated so quick? Not really. I mean, not not to bash Nero. I just he hasn't shown some unbelievable results and in the round of 16 and in CSL that's where things start to get a little harder and the con like you can make it through the round of 32 as long as you're a solid player yeah, you um, can't you can't play predictably in things like this like with, no, as, it, with as many games as as people have to watch of you with like a replays and stuff like you have to play different yeah exactly so like Nero's a good player but he's just not a player who can really change up everything or has such a dominant style like where you thermal is where he can stream and still win I don't feel Nero has that ability to really yeah. just play as many games as he has and hide his uh, style and his weaknesses yeah I agree yeah so that's it so make sure you guys give Sam your energy he's been playing pretty well but we want to see him move on and represent Born Ghost Skyhook got the win last year right or last season oh. Didn't he end up beating uh, Monk to... Who? Didn't Skyhook end up winning it all last season? No, 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 no. Uh, Skyhook lost 0-4 to Seeker in the finals. Or Skyhook Seeker got swept was. in the finals. I know he was in the finals. I thought he won. Rip. Yeah, Skyhook beat me. I was having a bad day in the semis. Um, and then he went to the finals and just... He, he tried hard, but it's uh, it's Seeker. Seeker's really good. And Seeker definitely so, showed his dominance. Seeker's, Seeker's a smurf, so we all know that. Yeah, hopefully yeah, we can well, get another born Gosu representative in the finals again, huh? Oh, absolutely. That'd be really cool. I mean, I think Sam has, like I said, I think he's a really good player, and if he really plays differently and unexpectedly, he could win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be really hard, but I, I don't think it's impossible. You know what? Be, it being really hard, I don't agree with. I would say, I, I said I can't pick one out of the out of the top, but I would say people like Siegfried and Sam are probably your top two players, just because their styles are so wonky and everyone else kind of plays a more straightforward. 
the yeah. only reason I don't favor Pete Sosa is because he is still coming back and he has uh, has um, showed results like losing to Cyrex uh, in the f- round of 32. Wow. So he's not extremely solid. He's still a great player. He's just not as solid as he was. But that's sure. expected. Shots fired back. at Cyrex. Sure, sure. All right. Well, cool. Well, we have our uh, our CTL matches. Uh, we'll go back to two weeks ago from when we played UR, and we'll kind of go over those lineups really quick. Uh, our first matchup, we had Muti versus Darth Julius on uh, King Sejong Station. Uh, you know, Julius, like, shouts out for him for going to WCS once again. You know, we always I can't, I can't give him enough credit for for being there for us and repping us. Um, but I believe this match, uh, he I, I believe he did lose. I can't. I want to say he did too, but I'm not completely sure. I, I might. Are the results up updated? Did you guys check? Um, it might be for week five. One second, let me pull it up real quick. Sure. I have, the, have it open. Sure. Week five. Because uh, we got. I know he's. Before. I know he's been playing really hard, and he's been training really hard, and I know he's. He's not going to stay in silver for too much longer. I mean, he plays a really good style, and he plays pretty macro focused. I feel like he just needs to more focus on building that army up because he has the economy building part it's, down. A lot of times I think for him it's just knowing when to attack. Um, but yeah. I, I do believe he Absolutely. lost this one. I, but I just I can't so, remember for sure. So Darth gotta... Julius actually did win, I think, oh, nice. because of a walkover, though, because there's a strike through Mewdy's name. So okay. I, think... I, I thought that was last week. First no, he lost. He did, I, he might, did I might last... be confusing my matches here. Yeah, he did lose last week, but he got a walkover two weeks ago against UR. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so apologies if this, this is a couple weeks uh, yeah. ago. It's a little hard. A little, little, <laughs> little overdue. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Then our next matchup we had uh, uh, Predlife versus Chopping on uh, New Gettysburg. Uh, and what, I think he got enough. subbed for uh, Chunt. Yeah, he did. I was gonna say open them what I have because they they have the updated subs on there, or what I posted. Because yeah. Um, I don't see map score on this. Like I see the overall score, but I don't see. Oh, go to group stages and then week five. And you'll have all the results right there with everything. Yeah, I'm looking at that, but it doesn't show me who won the games. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's just bold. I didn't realize that. I'm stupid. It it should also be green. Uh, Yeah, I'm just not smart. (laughs) Uh, So Chunt won. He beat uh, Choppin on Gettysburg. That's all right. I mean, Choppin's been working pretty hard, too. Um, Overgrowth LE, we had Asphyxia versus Austrian Oak. Oak's been playing... Pretty pretty good. I don't I don't think he's lost this season yet. Was that um, three racks? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we have Rook and Austrian doing a ton of three racks lately. Yeah. yeah I, I mean hey, like it, it works. TV. So I'm oh, not yeah. I'm not against doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um and then we had the re- the rematch, Seeker versus Skyhook, and it ended with uh with Seeker winning, unfortunately. Yeah, but you know what's cool here? Now, Skyhook like really ex- executed some good micro on this and I feel like he could have potentially won it. Uh he had a point where he was getting in and doing economic damage. And then it was there was a weird spot where he had his depot down where I think if he'd had it up he could have potentially held so good play yeah. by Skyhook there. Um, next we had uh, Heaton on Apotheosis versus Evil Flame. Evil Flame was able to take that. I want to say he got in with like early lings and just did like ling flood. Uh shoot no 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 we went over that I went over this with him. He opened something like an aggressive thirty two Roach Warren but not. Um, ah. Or not not aggressive, but like a uh, safe aggressive. So he kind of like contained his opponent, mm-hmm. and then he macroed to a higher point than one eventually later in the game. That's not um, good because I feel like this is one of those really hard maps to, to yeah. use that with. Yeah, you definitely can't exit. He was he really likes the thirty two roach war, and we've been working on that um, a lot with him, and he just loves the build. But playing on apotheosis, it's just not possible. The map is too long for it to the actual build to work. Yeah. Um, so he went with a more macro safe opening and kind of contained and went on later to win the game right uh then we had man on the moon on the sun station versus rook yes yeah, so rook I was did lose that one i was able to uh, watch this and man on the moon went for like a one base dark templar play and rook actually had uh, turrets in place and uh, yeah. he defended it pretty well and there was one point where he dropped a mule where he probably shouldn't have ended up kind of losing like that but uh it seemed like a really solid play by rook but a kind of a well-executed build by man on the moon i mean i know it's a kind of a wonky map with some weird situations but really a close game. He should have let me play that instead of taking it from mm-hmm. me. I, I would have I would have double gastle can rush. Oh, it worked. Cancer. Wait, no, uh, Man on the Moon 
They it wait, says he's it says he's Zerg, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, he's he is a Protoss. Um, okay, or at least whoever okay. Rook played was a Protoss. Uh, right, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. I was like, they updated the subs, but it didn't seem, it seems like they missed this one or something. Yeah, yeah it was a Protoss uh, that... he was up against. Oh, go ahead. We good? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, <laughs> so then we had uh, Kiwi on Frozen Temple versus Wobs. Uh, Kiwi took that one. This one was pretty hard. I talked with Wobs about this a lot. Um, it was actually no, pretty upset. It was actually really, it was really frustrating because uh, Kiwi, on week four, played a ZVT as well, and he lost to he lost to the Zerg that he played. But the thing was, the replay was never uploaded, um, and we were wait. I was bugging Nuru. I was bugging who was it? Who who did you play last week? You played Guns and Roaches, so I was bugging all Guns and Roaches trying to get this replay from them, and they just did not upload the replay, and they didn't upload it until after the game that Wobs played. But uh, Kiwi went with a just really aggressive double medevac marine timing at an early point in the game. And it's just one of those times where the Zerg got really greedy and didn't have any army and just lost to a few marines, unfortunately. Sure. Um, sorry, God. Oh, no, I was just, I was screaming. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, Wobbs was actually really frustrated because if he saw that replay, he would have known exactly what to do because it was the same exact build. Wobbs actually went back and checked the replay. So that was frustrating, but you know, you live, you learn. Right. right. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then finally, we had uh, you versus uh, who was yeah. it, Monk? Yeah, speaking about living and learning, whew, whew, this series. Yeah, uh, I definitely put a lot of effort into this one. Um, and I definitely tried. And I had, I, I, I had what I needed in game one, but Monk is just so extremely good. His, uh, his, his drops pulled me apart. I had Ultra Scout and he was still dropping all over my bases, just killing me. If I was able to focus a little bit harder in game one, I think maybe I had a chance, but it's it was just a matter of skill, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean Monk's a good player. I mean I know you worked really hard and stuff, and I think we'll you know, you'll you will be able to beat him at some point here. Oh just yeah. A matter of a little more training here and there and then just, you know, making it happen really. Right. Cool I mean game, game two there. wasn't as much as game one. In game two I was just really frustrated and threw a stupid build at him and just was too aggressive, unfortunately. But game one really was a, an amazing game played by him. Um I almost had him. That's so that's all I could really say about it. I'll try next time. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, so we unfortunately lost that week, um, but then we did bounce back here in week six um, as we took on the Confed. I'm not for sure what happened here as we came out with a map score of a three two. No, uh, it's just not. It's just not updated yet. It's um, not updated. Got it. I thought maybe there was some no, issues we, with maps or something. We or, I accidentally screwed up and forgot to upload the Evil Flame replay, which he did win with okay. a fourteen fourteen. Got um, it. And then Cyrex actually forgot to send in a map report at the end of the week, uh, or a match report, I should say. Um, and the, well, the important thing about that was Sam's game. He, uh -huh. did, win. he did win as well, but the, the replay didn't save for either player, so Cyrus forgot to mention that, or forgot to send in a match report where he could have mentioned that, where Sam got the win, but there was no replay to prove it. Got it. Okay. So we had Darth Julius versus uh, Nitro Oxide. I think that was the walkover, right? No, or did they Darth, end up playing? Darth, Darth Julius lost. Uh, Chopin okay. was a Chopin was a walkover. He missed his match. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he, he overslept. Mm -hmm. Rip. Thanks a lot, bud. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then I played on Gettysburg versus, I don't know, whether, whatever the hell this guy's illicit, name is. Illicit, illicit foot? foot? Illicit six. Illicit, illicit foot? I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so he tried to, like, proxy Rax me, but he just built the Rax in his natural instead of his main, and then I was going for, like, a, a, like a two-gate proxy, like, three-stalker rush. Uh, that I've been doing that turns into like a five gate YOLO all in. Uh, well, <laughs> he like tried to he like tried to build the bunker, and like in the natural instead of like my main. It was really weird. Like it was like really highly executed, um, but it came close. Like I had I did have to pull probes right. uh, to defend, but then I just came back with the mortals, and then like he just didn't have any units, and then he just lost. Nice the worker so. pull. I love when the worker pull saves you. It always feels so great. Yeah, I mean it was uh, that time it was actually necessary. <laughs> Well, like, it just, 
like I I never u- utilized the worker pull until recently, and there was like a one game where I played, and there was this Protoss army moving in, and I didn't have enough, but he moved in in between my third and my natural, so I was able to pull like forty drone or forty drones and just send them all at him with my lings, and I barely held on with those workers. Oh. Yeah, I mean sometimes it's enough to make a difference, like especially when they're all landing like that, and you can kill that army, and like he yeah. then like stuff was like rallied and like it was misplaced, and then I ended up just applying pressure. I had the, my mothership core doing some overcharges as nice. he was trying to attack my uh, attack my proxy and then he just ended up losing too much at the same time and then I just overran him. Nice. Um, then we had uh, Sam versus Raptor on Overgrowth. You said that uh, Sam had won that one. Yeah, Sam won. It, from what I remember, it was like a 16 or 17 minute long game. Um, I think Sam did like some Phoenix play. That was pretty cool. I didn't get to ch- I didn't get a replay because no one did. Um, right. Yeah. But from what I remember, it was like some Phoenix into macro play, some weird Sam stuff, you know. He's always right. doing something different, always making it work. The three right, right. or something. Uh, then we had Evil Flame on Frost versus Silverwind. Yep. Uh, we, and we said Evil Flame did win that one? Yeah, he did a 14-14. Got it. Cool. On Frost. So it worked pretty well. Good. And then it looks like we had Rook on Apotheosis versus Imperfection. Looks like Rook won. Yeah, do you know what he um, did here? Because that's a tough map. For he Rook. probably did three racks. I mean... I, I haven't have seen this one. No idea that one. Yeah, I haven't seen I these know. replays. Well, either. it's good to see him bounce back to get the win, though. That's what. Absolutely. Important. Yeah, I just think that's cool. That's a tough map against uh, against Protoss. So, congrats to Rook yeah. for getting that yep. one. Uh, then we had uh, Cyrax on Desan versus Kira. I can only imagine cancer ensued. Um, I don't. I don't. Cyr- I don't know. Cyrax said that the game was just kind of really wonky and. Cyrix feels he had the game. It's just a. It was a thing like where I lost to Monk just game one. It was mm-hmm. something happened, and you had you had what you needed to win, but it it got, was the execution. Got, yeah, I got pulled apart a little bit, and I mean that's the part of CTL though. Like I keep saying, you just gotta take your losses and learn from them, move forward. Yep. Yep. And the last one we had was KU against Sweetness, and after taking a game one loss, KU ended up taking the next two. Do you know how this went, Narwhal? Um, I do, but I'm blanking on a lot of it. Um, game one, I really don't remember that one went. Unfortunately, I know game three was a like a sweetness tried to cannon rush him or something. It was a weird game. Game three went really weird, and uh, game two I think was a Ling Bane build. I really don't remember much from it. I I want to talk to Ku about that more. Maybe get him on the show next week or something so we can go over it because I remember it was a really great series. I just can't remember everything from it. Yeah, well, shout out to KU for taking that ace match, though. Yeah. Well, we had a bye this week, and then next week we are going to be playing lit. So make sure you guys uh, come in and, and, and you know, get, get in there and make sure you get your spots. I know we have signups open for that right now. Yeah, so be sure to sign up because, hold on, it's, it's pretty open right now, I think, yeah. still. Yeah, we have uh, our silver still open, both of our golds. And one of our Platinums, the yeah. Golds are New Gettysburg and Frozen, and the Platinums is Galactic Process. So be sure to sign up, guys. Yeah, we need you guys to sign up. Uh, right now we are tied uh, for 3-2, which that'll probably change after this week, right, with the buy? Or no? No, they're not up. The league's not updated yet. We've played six weeks, so it should be. It's more than 3-2. Oh, uh, that's right. We're 4-2 now. Yeah, we're 4-2. But remember, gotcha. those map wanna... scores do matter. It... Um, so make sure is you send your replays you to all the admins defeated. as well. And then I also want to say that Lit, like this is a really big week. Uh, there's oh. some rivalries going on there. Uh, yeah, make sure that you guys bring out your best games. I know that everyone who is uh, familiar with this is going to, but a uh, good week to put in the practice, especially after having a week off. So let's hope to get the win. And uh, If you, you know, need practice, be sure to tag week. Jesus or I because we wanted to make sure that everyone got the practice they need for this week. Um, I signed up, but I'm on here enough where I can practice and help you guys. So just tag us if you need us. Use that at everyone tag at here, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's an important match. We want to make sure we get enough players in that. We want to make sure we can win this because if we're – I think everyone – I think all the top teams here, it's uh, you are on top, probably like 7-0 and right now or 6-0. and And then yeah. we're all 4-2, and so we really need to win because yeah. – I know we're low on map score, so we need to make sure we just win. Yeah, I mean, for the people who are new, you guys don't really know. The end of the season, the weirdest things happen. You have teams from first place dropping down to third. You have teams in second going to last just due to map score. Some teams don't make it out because of just tie in map score. This is where things get really close, so this is where we're going to crunch down and make sure everything goes perfect. Also, if you haven't played yet in CTL and you want to, make sure to get your game in before the end of the year. Otherwise, you won't be eligible for playoffs, and we want to have as many folks eligible as possible. 
Yep. Yeah, definitely. Um, finally, we have uh, BGSL. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we come into the final matches of that. Uh, we had Skyhook versus Wobs, where Wobs won that in a sweep, I believe, correct? Yeah, some great games by Wobs. Game one was unreal. He had an unreal burrow trap in game one to win to win that one. Decent. And then I believe that uh, China or Sam win? Uh, Sam. Sam. Sam won. won. It, it came down to 3-2. Sam won the first two. Shine won the next two. And then Sam was able to pull it out in game number nice. five. Nice. So we're going to have Sam versus Wobs to the finals. And then we'll have Skyhook versus Shine in the... Uh, <laughs> The third place match. Yeah, a TVT. That's going to be uh, that's going to be an interesting cast. I'm really hoping I have Rhett with me for that one. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see, we'll see whose cancer build works better. Oh, dude, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared for that one. You know, and then Wobs versus Sam. That's actually I think that's actually going to be a pretty good game too. I feel like that's, that's going to be really good. That's going to be really really amazing. I think. I feel like both of them have a, a really good shot at winning, and I feel like it's going to come down to execution on that. It's like whoever makes less mistakes in this one because I feel like they both play at you know a pretty high level. I, you know what, as much as I like Wobbs and he's going to hate this because everyone doubts him in every show, I still pick Sam for the finals just because it comes down to that thing where Sam, you're not able to predict what he's doing and Wobbs kind of has a style where you can pin down and know what's going to come your way. Um, I'm going to stop picking against Wobbs and I'm going to go with Wobbs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun to pick against Wobbs though. Um, it's going to be interesting. Well, I mean, I think he's putting more time, if anything, being at home, like, uh, or being away from home and actually getting the freedom in college. I think he, uh, he's responsible enough to get his homework done and then he's able to practice. I've seen him on a fair amount. Like, he doesn't, he's not on Discord talking about it that much, but when I'm on, I see him on as well, usually. So, yeah, he still has a decent amount of practice going, no matter, even though he's at school. Yeah, definitely. And I want to see, he's trying to get CSL going for his school. I don't know if they have a team in place yet or not. Yeah, I heard he was trying. I don't. I know registration closes really soon or just closed, so I'm hoping he either got that done or is about to finish it. Yeah, we'll have to find that out. Um, and then I just wanted to quick mention the prize pools. So for first place for BGS, BGSL, we have a $30 prize. Second place, 20 Third place, $10. Um, yep, the, the base got done well. Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, players are putting time in to make uh, great content. I get to cast it, get to put it on the channel. Everyone gets to enjoy it. Why not give back a little bit? I know we're going to... Yeah, the the stream time, um, I'll actually give a tweet. Follow the Born Gosu Twitter for that one. I'll put a tweet out today, probably two or three, actually confirming everything because I'm just making sure time-wise with a few other players. I know earliest that it could start is 8 a.m. PST. Um, okay. And the latest it could start, I'm not really sure. I don't want to go too late because one of our finalists is a uh, European, so uh, he's uh, a vampire. Well, sure we have a lot of time. Don't want to be too late for him. Yeah, definitely. Um, I believe that's all I had. Unless you guys have any other topics you wanted to bring up. No, just again, make sure if you haven't played yet in CTL and you want to, you have to play to be in the playoffs. And uh, like we said, lit a big opponent this next week. Uh, so make sure everybody's getting their practice on. And if anybody yep. needs a Protoss partner, oh, yeah, I'm always definitely. here. Yeah, definitely. Just, you know, like like I said, don't don't be a cuck. Sign up. You know, we, we, we want to win. You know, right. and if we're not here to win, then uh, what, the, what the fuck are we doing here, bud? Well, with, with that being said also, don't be, like, nervous about playing, like, we want you to win and we're not going to be like, okay, you're playing now go out, shoot, you know, go practice yourself and go make sure you win. If you want to win, if you want to play, we'll help you practice throughout the week, we'll schedule your match for the weekend and we'll dedicate nights to work with you and make sure you have everything you need. Yeah, definitely. We'll make it work. All right. Well, that's all we have for, for this episode of the uh, go to get down and until next week, take care, grind hard on the ladder and uh, yeah, we'll win. Cheers guys. Later. Easy. <laughs>